Hello everybody, this is kind of a unique how-to video. I'm gonna run down my graphic settings. There's been quite a bit of questions I've seen asked during live streams and recorded videos in their comments with respect to visual settings after the Platinum expansion. Things like tree flashing on Silver Run Forest, other texture flashing on other maps. I've not seen those things, so I really don't know how to correct those things but I thought maybe if I talked a little bit about my system configuration and also my specific graphic settings, you could take a look at your settings if you have a similar system and then start working from there to try to figure out what might be going on. But before that, this video is brought to you by David Perkins and Andrew Young. Thank you for being farm barons. So I am running an NVIDIA 3080 graphics card and I'm also running an AMD 5900X CPU, and my system has 32 gigs of RAM. Now I'm running at a resolution of 1440p as well. If you have a 3080 and you're running at a resolution of 4K, then you could use these settings as maybe a starting guide, but you may have to back some down a wee little bit because you are rendering a lot more pixels than I am at 1440p. If you're running a 3080 and you have a gaming resolution of 1080p, then these settings should be exactly fine for you because you're technically rendering at a lower resolution than I am. Your graphics card is rendering less pixels than I am, so it shouldn't have an issue. Now my 5900X really isn't being taxed at all by the farm sim. I've got that CPU because I'm doing production quality here with respect to video editing and rendering. So I wanna to try to get videos recorded and produced fairly quickly. So I am making use of those additional cores as a result of the video production side of content creation, not the game playing side of the channel. Now, if I come in here to options, we're gonna go to display settings. I am running a custom, very high hardware profile. Screen resolution is set to 2560 by 1440. V-Sync is turned off and I have the frame rate limit set to 60. This frame rate limit is a feature that was added to Farm Sim, I believe around 1.6, and it allows you to set the frame rate limit to 30, 60, 90, 120, 144, or 240 frames per second. I'm just gonna leave it set at 60. We have windowed mode turned on. Resolution scaling is set to one. Brightness is set to 1.0. My field of view is set to 70. The in-game HUD is also set to 70% and I have camera bobbing enabled. Now with respect to the advanced graphic settings, don't expect me to go into great detail as to exactly what each and every one of these settings is gonna do. A lot of these, I really don't have a good idea, but I can tell you that these settings is what I've been running for quite a long time. In fact, before I had a 3080 graphics card, I had a 2080 Super, and this is pretty much what I was running at that point as well. Multi-sample, Anti-aliasing is set to off. Post-processing anti-aliasing is set to NVIDIA DLAA. And don't confuse DLAA with DLSS because I have DLSS disabled, as well as Fidelity FX Super Resolution 1 and 2. And the new Intel XESS is also disabled. So DLSS, Fidelity FX 1 and 2, and the Intel XESS is all kind of in the same general family. But what that is looking to do is set your graphics card to render the game out at a lower resolution and then upscale to a higher resolution that you're displaying at. I'm playing at 1440p. I am not having any issues getting the frame performance that I want out of my graphics card at 1440p. So I have set all those to off because I don't need its assistance. But if you are, let's say, running at 4K and you are, for whatever reason, struggling to get 60 frames per second out of 4K, if you have an NVIDIA card, you could turn on DLSS and let that help you basically render out at a lower level, let's say 1080p, and then upscale to 4K. You could have performance, balance, quality, ultra performance, but we're gonna set that obviously to off. We could do the same thing with respect to Fidelity FX Super Resolution if you have an AMD card, although I do believe that the AMD Fidelity Super FX Resolution is kind of open platform 
and you can make use of that if you have an NVIDIA card as well. If you have an Intel card, that is the Intel XESS technology that you're gonna to want to make use of there. With respect to sharpness, we're set at 1.0. Shadow quality is set to very high. Shadow quality distance is set to high. SSAO is set to very high. Light quality is set to very high. Draw distance, 200%. Terrain LOD distance is again set to 200%. Resolution scaling, 100%. We have max mirror set at seven. And so 4X is what we're using for our texture filtering. We have our shadow map filtering set to high. Terrain quality is also set to very high. Foliage draw distance is set to 200. Foliage shadows is turned on. Now I have heard some people suggest that issues with respect to tree flash flashing has been resolved by turning off foliage shadows. I've got it turned on. I've not seen that issue. So again, I don't know because I have to first be able to reproduce the issue before I can help try to troubleshoot what settings may help correct that issue. Mesh tessellization volume is set to 200%. Realistic beacons is turned off. Now I could turn this on. I really don't know why I have it turned off but it is turned off. We're not gonna make changes because this video is all about what settings I am running and have been running for quite a long time. But realistic beacons, if it's turned on, will let the beacons kind of reflect light off of other surfaces like buildings, trees, leaves, and other such things. Texture resolution is set to high. Max shadows is set to five. Shader quality is set to very high. LOD distance is set to 200%. Cloud quality is set to very high. Max tire tracks is set to 400. And the shading rate is also set to high. And that is my graphics and display settings for Farm Sim 22. If you've got a 3080 Super and you're having some issues, run through my settings, maybe set your settings to where they are with respect to my settings, see how things work. Now, when you first jump into the game, after making some of these adjustments, you may run into stuttering. And the reason you're getting the stuttering is because the game is building out its shader cache. And as a result of building out its shader cache, it need, it's gonna be doing a little bit of stuttering. The easiest thing to do is just kind of drive around the map, explore the map, jump around the map, look around, and basically let the game soak in those textures and bake in a new shader cache. And probably after about five or so minutes, you should be pretty good. If you jump into a brand new map that has brand new textures, you might get a little bit of hitching. Again, as it's building out that shader cache for that specific map. But that should help you. If you've got any questions or comments, please go ahead and put them down below. Be curious to see if you are running a 3080, how your settings may differ from my settings with respect to the game setup. But here we are in Elm Creek with those very settings. You see, we got a good solid, solid 60 frames. And I mostly have that set because I don't need to overtax the graphics card while I'm also trying to record and stream video. And until next time, happy farming.